welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Capricorn. Let's call in spirit with some enchanta. I hope you're doing well today, Capricorn. I don't know if this is related, but I figured I would at least mention that right before I started recording this, I leaned back, and the necklace that I was wearing that I knew I was going to do, do this to because it kept getting caught. Totally just like got yanked off the chain that it was on. So I feel like there's something about Capricorn or the people that they're dealing with kind of feeling like something's going to happen. Something's going to end. Something's going to break. Something like that. And it ending up coming true. So for some of you, that applies. Whatever. All right, we're going to start with the Marigold Tarot and see what we can get for you all. What do we have for Capricorn, please? So we have the Fool. It's not always at the top of the list when it comes to favorite cards, but this is one of my favorites because it speaks to having the courage and the boldness to live your life the way that you decide and take leaps of faith that sometimes people think that's kind of stupid but I always admire the fool because it's somebody who's willing to live life the way they think they're meant to and I think that's fucking rad all right what else do we have for Capricorn here's the fool by the way I love it because this deck has a ton of skeletons. It's one of my favorite things ever. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? Well, I think I did mention some of you were waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Seven of Wands in the reverse and Page of Cups. So some of you may have been waiting for an offer of love or an apology or both. And I feel like for a lot of you, you've been waiting since at least winter. If you're in a different hemisphere than me, that could be different. But I'm seeing this Seven of Wands as a snowflake. It's in the reverse. And that can speak to whether or not it's been poorly timed, right? So somebody here maybe got sick of waiting and decided, shit, I'll just venture off into the unknown and see what amazing adventures I can happen upon, right? Like, why sit here and wait for somebody? I don't know why, but Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia are popping into my head. Just that idea of like, yeah, I was told not to go into the wardrobe, but, like, I want some fucking adventure. <laughs> so sue me. So we have the Knight of Rings, or the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Nine of Rings, and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like people think you're moving too quickly or recklessly towards something, and it will lead to you're being destitute or somehow financially stuck. So for some of you, this could be like a business venture that you're really passionate about that other people don't really understand. Um, for others of you, this could be a relationship where they are mistrusting of the person that you're interested in. And we have the Eight of Wands. So timing may have been off for a long time, but it feels to me like the stars are aligning. It feels to me like we've reached the point that we needed to. So somebody may feel 
like it's finally the right time to initiate communication after a period of silence or no contact. We have the world, the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. I feel like there were some really hard lessons in this previous era, <laughs> chapter of your life. And this challenging time in your life has really made you stronger. I can't remember if I showed you this. This is the world card. And more bold, which is why I think for some of you there's a chance this world card clarifying the fool is actually speaking about a desire to move to a new part of the world. It doesn't have to be, you know, across the world, but I feel like there's a sense of adventure that could bleed into where do I actually want to live? Where do I want to experience, you know? Um, with the Knight of Cups clarifying the Seven of Wands in the reverse, I feel like there's somebody in regret over failing to communicate about a love situation honestly or directly. And with the Knight of Wands clarifying the Page of Cups, I feel like there was inconsistent or unreliable energy coming from this person so that trust was either never built or difficult to repair once it was broken. So I feel like it took a while, but eventually the other person in this equation decided, I don't really have time to sit around and wait for you to figure out your shit, so I'm going to go over there. That was like fun. <laughs> and it's justice for that to have happened. This is how it was supposed to play out. If you want something, you have to go and get it. If you love somebody, you have to fucking say it or you lose it, right? So justice clarifying the Knight of Rings. There's something here about not approaching things with the right intentions or with the right plan, right? So when your intent is not on the up and up, you pay the consequences. So I feel like somebody is getting karma here for how they've treated other people because they fucked with an empress. So there's a feminine energy here who people really like to view as less valuable than she actually is. Like they really either are threatened or intimidated or just jealous of her. And we have the Ten of Wands. It's clarifying the Eight of Wands. Somebody is overburdened by the lack of communication with this empress, and even though it's what they thought they wanted, they can't do it anymore. They have to reach out. Capricorn, I'm going to clarify further with the Egyptian tarot. What else do we have for Capricorn? High Priestess. She came out sideways, so I feel like there's been a journey here for somebody. Perhaps at the outset there was some lack of clarity or even confusion around what kind of gifts or how to use these gifts, but I feel like somebody has worked to cut out the noise, cut out the people that aren't really there to support you, and this has improved the discernment and intuition of the individual who's looking to embark on a new adventure here. And now there's less confusion, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So where there was previously confusion, particularly in how one relates to others emotionally, now there's a strength and a perseverance in this person. Uh, it feels a lot to me like somebody who's fallen in love with themselves and enjoys spending a lot of time alone. Not really eager to give up that alone time for people that would fail to understand how to have like a an open an honest uh, emotional connection. So we have the King of Wands clarifying the Knight of Wands. There is somebody here who has learned a little bit of a lesson when it comes to matters of the heart, I believe. 
somebody who was breadcrumbing or trying to ignore how they felt about this high priestess or this empress is now very focused on her. I feel like this individual has also seen things a little bit more clearly recently. There could have been something in particular that kind of jogged this person's memory or helped them see things from a different perspective. But they now see this high priestess as very high honor. And I feel like there's a focus here on wanting to make an offer of love, but they have someone following them around. This is like a horrible lover's triangle. It feels to me like there's a high priestess that's like unbothered, doesn't give a fuck. Like, I'm over here like painting my own nails. What's up? Can I help you? And then this King of Wands is like, yo, I totally fucked up in the past. I thought you were just kind of like some stupid thought. And then like, it looks like actually I kind of love you. So I probably should have treated you like that. And I kind of want to like, I don't know, apologize and see if you're still like. And then there's this other chick who's like, hey, but like, I don't even really wear my dress the whole way. So like, you can see the goods and stuff. And like, I really want you to like me. And he's like, not at all interested. <laughs> So it really feels to me like, especially because the King of Wands tends to be a more attractive or alluring masculine energy, there are women pursuing <laughs> matters of the flesh with this King of Wands, and he is laser focused on trying to find something meaningful with this high priestess that he himself rejected. We have the Knave of Swords clarifying the Empress. He's been studying this Empress somehow. He might be looking at her social media. He might have found, I don't know, he might be rereading text messages between them. There's something he's trying to do better based on knowing her better. It feels like he just put her in a box like you're like all the rest. And then now he's realized, oh, you're actually like kind of different. So I want to understand why. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse again. So that is over here as well. Sorry, guys, I think I have a cat hair in my nose. <laughs> um, with the Knight of Pentacles clarifying, the Ten of Wands, somebody is purting, <laughs> purting, putting down the burden associated with stagnation. I think it's, they're literally cutting out the other people that were distractions because we have two of cups in the reverse. But it was like very much so on this. Like if we don't have a strong emotional connection, I don't want to put, like I don't want to invest time in you. I don't want you to be a distraction for me. But I feel like there's also a concern here on the uh, King of Wands part that she doesn't actually have any interest in him. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse because he can see that she isn't, you know, lamenting how things ended or like crying over the loss of him. She may have at one point and he may have seen that or been aware of it, but now he knows she's over there like, and then I'm good. I went shopping, I got a cute new dress. What's up? Nine of Swords is the next one out. This is clarifying the, the uh, King of Wands. So I feel like he's trying to present himself as doing better than he actually is because he wants to be seen as this, you know, attractive potential partner. <laughs> I think there's some issues here though, because this masculine seems to have a lot of feminine energies coming after him. So we also have, <coughs> excuse me, the Queen of Swords coming up. She's clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. And it feels to me like there is some karma being delivered here to these feminine energies. They could have been cruel to this high priestess because they were jealous of her and getting caught up on this king of wands who then is like completely uninterested in them could be something that they have to go through. 
then we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. Because while they're focused on him, he's over here trying to figure out how to avoid being rejected by this High Priestess or this Empress. Like, he very clearly sees Empress outranks the Queens. Why would I spend time with Queens when I could spend time with an Empress? And we have the Nine of Wands clarifying the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's also something here about not wanting to make the mistake of taking too long or hesitating, letting somebody else get in and make an offer to this High Priestess, for example. I feel like the King of Wands has already done something here to fuck up. He has this understanding that this is like his last chance with the Empress, and he has to like approach it correctly, and he also has to like keep in mind that there are probably other people that are interested in her as well. If this is resonating for you, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. We're going to use the Gypsy Oracle to close it out for you and get just a little bit more clarification. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? So we have White. and cheerfulness. So it feels to me like these feminine energies that have been around this King of Wands have been trying to lure him in or keep him with them by focusing on things like partying, so drinking, smoking, whatever they're doing. They're trying to keep him happy with this kind of like sur surface level enjoyment, right? Whereas he's over here looking at this feminine energy as the real source of happiness, long-term happiness, wife material. This is somebody that it, it isn't that like, let's have fun for four hours and then tomorrow I wake up and it's real life again. It's you make me happy because you're my partner care about me and you support me. He's leveled up in terms of what he wants out of a partner and these feminine energies don't really understand that. They've not seen this from him before. Soldiers coming out. The King of Wands is a warrior. The Queen of Wands is a warrior. But this seems to imply that for some of you this masculine energy could be law enforcement or, you know, an army veteran. There's something here about this King of Wands being very disciplined. So I think this is in, in part to say when he made up his mind, there wasn't any pivoting, you know? Like, no, I, I've cracked the code. I know which direction I need to go. I'm going to fucking go that direction. But these ladies were not, not very excited to hear that. Why is this thief card here? <sighs> okay. That's what I thought. So, if you resonate with masculine energy, or if you care to pass on a warning for me, we have a masculine energy who is rejecting young women, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. And so this could be air sign or air sign, by the way, which would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But we've got somebody who has some nefarious plans because of feeling rejected. So one of these young women, potentially more, but at least one of them, is looking to steal something. Now, this could be trying to manipulate the masculine away from this feminine energy by some sort of gossip or manipulation, or this could literally be, because we have the Queen of Pentacles here, a materialistic feminine who's like, well, if I can't have your heart, I'm at least going to steal your Bentley, whatever the fuck it is. There's something here about, I'm going to get something out of you if I don't get what I want out of you. Love. Nothing hits like a woman scorned, right? So this masculine has broken somebody's heart and it's causing some erratic behavior on one of these women's part. 
and he's too focused trying to figure out what's going on with this empress high priestess to really notice the goings on behind his back. So if you resonate with the masculine, please keep an eye on the um, former lovers or flirtations that you had, because it does look like there's somebody who's got some hard feelings and kind of wants to make you feel awful about it. So I hope you found that helpful and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for all the support.